good morning and welcome to craft time with Anna I'm Anna and we are making beautiful Mother's Day craft today you can either use it as a card or as a gift for your special mum so without further ado let's have a look in the craft basket and see what's inside so tap 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 one two three what's in the craft basket let us see Ooh, hey now here's one that I prepared earlier to show you what we're making it's a beautiful Mother's Day flower and it's got little petals underneath the top petals where we can write special messages about our mum, whether it's things that we love about her, things that we're grateful to her for, uh, or just little messages. You can pop a picture of yourself in the middle if you like. I've just used coloured paper here, yellow paper, and you can write number one mum on there or I love you or simply mum. All right, let's get started. So, what have we got in our craft basket? I've got crayons and textures. Then to colour in the petals or the leaves, if that's what you choose to do. I've got some scissors. And well, I've got my template, but I was saving that for later. <laughs> got my sticky tape. Glue. And a paddle pop stick. I've got a pencil for tracing. And of course, this beautiful template. So you will have found your template on the Facebook page, the Charter Hall um, or your Shopping Centre Facebook page. You can print that off. I'd print off well, two copies just in case you need another copy. Now I've also got two uh, pieces of coloured paper here. So one for the petals and one for the little circle in the middle because I'm not putting a photo in. But you might choose to. Alright. So I've got all the bits and bobs here. To start with, I thought we might just get everything cut out and prepared and then we'll put it all together. So grab your template, your stencil of the flower, and choose, well if you want to get colouring, to start colouring your petals in, but you will need a back side as well. So if you're choosing to colour in the white petals, um, make sure that you either have another piece of white paper behind it or just another piece of paper behind it because you will need to stick it uh, to another piece of paper so that you've got those exposed petals at the back. Great. All right, I'm going to use pink on the outside of my flower. So what I'm going to do is pop that, the template, on the um, front of the pink paper and I'm going to cut around the flower. Okay, so if you're not confident with scissors, if you're... Um, young and you don't you know you're not to the cutting age yet really good to get mum or dad or an older sibling all right because scissors are sharp and we want you to stay safe all right so i'm going to get cutting go and grab a parent or an older sibling if you need help with the cutting otherwise you can start getting cutting out your flower as well so i'm cutting out around the petals and i'm making sure i'm coming right in to the edge of the circle there. All right, I don't want to cut the circle, I just want to make sure I just get to the edge of the circle. So I can fold those petals down and reveal the little petals underneath where we're going to write our special messages. Wow, so Sunday is Mother's Day. I wonder what plans you've got for Mother's Day. It's really nice to see you doing a card or this special gift to give to your mum. And for those of us who don't have mums that we can give gifts to uh, this Mother's Day, maybe you're making it for another special lady in your life, someone who's touched your heart and makes you feel really special. All right, I've got one last petal to cut out here. How are you going with your cutting? There we are. Okay, so I've cut my flower out, and as you can see, I've got the pink here as well. What I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to put glue on this white piece. Actually, <laughs> before I glue, I need another circle. So, because I need a template, I need to cut out the yellow piece of paper as a circle, or you might need the circle template to cut out a photo of yourself. Right, so what I'm going to do is take this flower, I'm going to get 
Actually, I'm going to get my yellow piece of paper because I want uh, the circle to be yellow. I'm going to pop it underneath there. And I don't know if you can see it, but I know that I can trace that circle onto the yellow paper. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I'm using a pencil to draw that circle. There we are. All right, I'm drawing the circle onto the yellow piece of paper. Now I'm going to cut that circle out. So make sure you cut a, cut a circle out of any color paper that you like. It's just so that you've got the template there. If you're going to um, print off a photo of yourself, you might just want to make sure it's small enough, or big enough, to fit inside that size circle. All right, you can use that as your template to then put over your photo and cut the circle out. Great. Okay, so I've got my white flower, my flower to put over the top. I've got my circle to put on the outside here. Now I'm going to need to cut my leaves out. So I'll go back to my white template, the original template, and I'm going to cut these leaves out. I'm not going to worry about the stalk because we're going to use a popsicle stick for that. Okay. Now if you wanted to colour the leaves in, you can use crayons or textures. If you wanted to cut it out on green paper, you could put some green paper behind the leaves as you're cutting. I'm actually going to colour my leaves in though. Alright, so one leaf and the other leaf. We're going to use sticky tape to glue these onto the popsicle stick. Right, so I've got my two leaves. I've got my popsicle stick. <laughs> I've got my flower and I've also got the circle to go on top of my flower. Alright, so there are all the bits we need. How about if you're colouring in your petals, keep colouring on the petals, I'm going to colour in my leaves green. So I'll use um, my green crayon for that. Here we go. Oh, it's a nice bright green, this one. A bright, light green. Lovely. I wonder what flowers your mum likes. What are her favourite? Maybe daffodils? Or... She might like roses, sunflowers. I love sunflowers, they're bright and they remind me of the sun. Hmm. This one though, this is more like a daisy today. We're making daisies. Okay, I've got my green leaves colored in. What I'm gonna do now is start with the glue. So grab your glue stick. I'm going to put glue on the circle of my petals. So this circle here, this is going to be the back of the flower, all right? So it's the underneath one. So choose which one flower is going to be underneath and just pop some glue on the inner circle. And then we're going to get the outer one and stick it on top. So you might just have to uh, work out <laughs> which petal goes on or which petal? There we go. I think I've got a match. Sort of. There we go. Close enough. <laughs> Alright, you might be able to get yours to match up perfectly. This one, well, it's got a little bit of a frangipani style to it. <laughs> Alright, so I've glued that on so now I can pull my little petals back and write a message. What I'm going to do now is get my popsicle stick. Here we are, and sticky tape that onto the back. I'm just going to sticky tape that there. Great. Alright, can't forget about the circle to go in the middle. Now if you're writing a message on that circle, you might like to write the message before you stick it. Otherwise, get the glue. Let's get sticking.
There we are, beautiful circle in the daisy. I'm going to stick my leaves on with sticky tape. So I'm going to stick these to the bottom of the popsicle stick. All right. So they look like that. You might like to try gluing yours on. I know with the sticky tape it's a little bit wide for the popsicle stick, but you can always trim it to size if you want. There we are. So I've simply put a little bit of sticky tape on the back of the popsicle stick and stuck the leaves on. There we go. Okay, I'm ready to my, write my message to my mum now. So, if you've got a photo of yourself, feel free to stick it in there. I'm going to write number one mum. Alright, so I'll grab my textus. My mum loves the colour purple, so I'm going to use purple. Number one mum. Here we are. <laughs> and now it's time to feel into things. Oh, why my mum is so special. What I love about my mum. And then I can write it on the petals. So, I love cuddles with my mum. So I write cuddles. What else do I love doing with my mum? I love singing with my mum. I love the uh, lemon meringue pies that she cooks. So I'm going to write that. I love your lemon meringue. It's a tricky word that one, meringue. <laughs> pies. What else do I love about my mum? She's so kind and caring. I'm going to write that on one of my petals. You're so kind and caring. Ah, oh, and she's got the biggest heart ever. I love the way, well, I love the way she loves me. Yep, I do. In fact, she just doesn't love me. She loves lots of people. Uh, I love her big heart. That's what I'm going to write. I love your big heart. Beautiful. Oh, I think she's going to love this. In fact, big shout out to my mum. If you're watching, you probably are. <laughs> so, here we go. Here's my flower. Number one mum. I've got singing. I have cuddles. I love your big heart here. And you're so kind and caring. And this one. I love your lemon meringue pies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my special gift to my mum this Mother's Day. So I hope you're having a lovely, fun time crafting your Mother's Day card or gift. I hope you come up with some beautiful messages to her. And I think that's it. Yeah. Everything's done. If you'd like to post a picture of your creation, please post it on the Instagram or Facebook site. Uh, and I'll see you next week for more playtime and fun. And if you haven't seen the Mother's Day playtime session yet, make sure you log on to Playtime with Anna and you'll find that on the Charter Hall or your shopping centre, Facebook and Instagram page. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Bye.